Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Dupre and Carlos Torre. This game was played in the United States in 1927. Dupre had white pieces and he started with e4. Carlos Torre played e5. Knight to f3. d6, a filidor defense. d4. Black to move. e takes on d4. Is the most played move. But Carlos Torre prepared a little surprise. f5. Not better. Then e takes on d4, but it's a surprise. Bishop to c4. e takes on d4. e takes on f5. Queen to e7 check. White to move. Now, white has more than one good move in this position. He can play bishop to e2. He can play king to f1, but then his rook is blocked. So Dupre played king to d2. Do you see the idea behind this move? Black to move. Surely moving black queen comes to mind. Perhaps queen to f6 and then next move could be knight to e7. Do you agree? Carlos Torre played g6. Now white played the obvious. Rook to e1, pinning the queen. Dupre was very happy. But Carlos Torre was also happy. Why? What's wrong with him? Doesn't he like his queen? What would you do in this position? If you had white pieces, please pause and find the best move for black. What did you find? There was a reason for playing g6, wasn't it? The move is bishop to h6 check, king to d3, black to move. How would you continue now? You've got to do some attack, otherwise you lose your queen. Bishop takes on f5 check. White has no time to capture the queen. King takes pawn on d4. Black to move. How would you continue? Knight to c6. Better is the move played in the game. Bishop to g7 check. King to d5. What a picture! White king is in front of his army. It's not good, is it? And there is a checkmate in one. Can you see checkmate in one? C6. Checkmate. Wow. That was a clever trap from Carlos Torre. Wasn't it? How many moves did you guess? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.